Have you ever seen those videos where someone tries to make a game in just a week, or even a day? Those are pretty cool, right? Especially when there's massive studios employing hundreds of people who are probably taking years to just make a single game. What are they playing at? Where's the efficiency? So I thought, how about we do this in a single hour? Easy, maybe? Well, it turns out that making a game is actually pretty hard. So instead of making the game myself, I decided to outsource it like a true Sigma. Introducing the One Hour Gnome Jam Live Edition. So I've won a few of these game development contests before, but usually they run on for a few weeks. Instead, I'm cutting out all the chaff and keeping things simple. There'll be no rules and you're free to use whatever models or resources you can find. The only limit is it must be made within the time period and it must meet the special theme. Which I decided not to announce until we began. So Saturday rolled around and 8pm sharp up came the live stream. But... Oh dear. So pretty much at the exact time we went live, the Roblox servers kind of, well, to put it politely, pooped themselves. So with the servers down, so was Roblox Studio, and without Studio, there could be no game development and no contest. And you thought Facebook being down was bad. Thankfully though, we rescheduled for Sunday and away we went. Hello and welcome to Gnome Jam live our second attempt at this it was time to announce the theme everyone was waiting for the stone age Whoa. Do -do 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 -do. Oh. 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 so there we go the stone age it was an unusual theme perhaps but i wanted to try and give people a surprise especially as many were just expecting it to be generic halloween game also, you just don't get many games in this kind of genre anyway, so it'd probably be a bit harder to find a bunch of pre-made assets ready for people to use. However, not wanting to be a complete sadist, I did throw in a quick few assets to help people get started. And we've got this cool looking caveman and a few textures and sound packs. But by the time I was done talking about all that, we were already five minutes down. Five minutes already? Oh my goodness. Whoops. And if people weren't stressed enough already, I decided to prey upon some of our poor developers and drag them into the live chat to interview them on the stream. Cue some pretty awkward conversations. Hello, Ruben. Welcome. Do you have a mic? Hmm. Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, all that and they don't have one. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Okay, let's find the next place then. Oh. But in no time at all, the countdown flew by, and soon enough I was saying, five, four, three, two, one, and finish. The timer is up. Okay, that buzzer was certainly loud enough. What did people actually make? So by the end of it, we had incredible submissions from 70 users, and it's probably far too many for me to showcase all of them here. But I have been diligently playing through all of them this last week, and I've been pretty impressed with the results. So if you do stick around to the end of this video, you can check out a short highlight reel of me playing each and every single one of them. But until then, I want to show a few of my personal favourites before showing the grand winner themselves. So let's get into it. Now a lot of people put a lot of work into their introductions. And these are really cool, like this long sweeping camera angle. But when you've only got an hour, you've really not got a lot of time to do anything too fancy. So there's some really nice menus people have made. But it's a shame that I think they probably then ran out of work on the games itself. Uh, look at this one, for example. We've got the camera sweeping in, woo, around. And then we've got Fuzzy presents the Stone Age. 
And they've got some sort of map here by the looks of it, maybe some waypoints or something, but we don't know what they could have made. They ran out of time. There was also this one with the whole uh, story. We had a narrator going on, telling us all about the game. Just think what they could do with even more time. Now, there were a few interesting concepts as well, including this sort of spear javelin thing where you could shoot your javelin and then you had a rope that you could sort of fling off to and it's these different islands you could play about with. Pretty cool. Now, also at the start of the stream, I did say to people they could even make an FPS, but they'd have to make it fit the theme. And sure enough, Altskeet managed to do this perfectly and he made a slingshot first-person shooter, perfectly on-themed and perfectly buggy as well, but you would expect that within the hour. I thought this was pretty cool. I think one of my favorite things about the Gnome Jam is seeing how people adapt to the themes or limits. And a Doctor of Anime or Doc Master certainly went in this direction. When I first joined the game, I saw this school bus and I was thinking, well, surely this isn't fitting the theme of the Stone Age at all. But you end up then being teleported back to old style classic Roblox or the Stone Age of Roblox as he calls it. I thought this was a pretty interesting twist on the idea. And with all of us playing on stream, it turned into absolute chaos pretty quickly. A perhaps slightly similar idea to this was this one from Quacky Wackety, where it's sort of all black and white, and I'm not as entirely sure how it's the Stone Age. It's a bit more like a post-apocalyptic thing. But look at the lighting of this game. All in monochrome, black and white. It looks really cool, at the very least. And if we're talking about strange themes, then we have to talk about King There's epic minion adventure. <laughs> I do not know what to call this. This certainly has to be the most bizarre game submitted. We've got guns, we've got minions, we've got jeeps. I don't know how this fits the theme at all, but at least it was interesting and entertaining to play on the live stream. There was a few others that were played a bit fast and loose with the theme, uh, like this one from Henry, which is more of a sort of horror first person thing. But again, it was pretty decent to make within that hour limit. Now, moving on to some of the perhaps most impressive games of the night. And I want to start out with this one from Vigo. This is actually a pretty simplistic little obby. And I think this demonstrates pretty well of the sort of thing that you can probably achieve within this short time period. Uh, it's just an obby, but it's got a nice theme. You've got a volcano in the background and it just feels quite nicely polished. Another game in this kind of vein is from Pine Blocks. It's, uh, I think it's supposed to be a round based game to find the bone around the map. I think the bone is supposed to change position randomly, but I do like the concept of going here where it's just a simple map and you're going to go around it and find the bone. And if we managed to play this on stream, I imagined it would have been pretty fun. So a game that we did play on stream was this island game from Elliot. It's sort of like a roleplay type game. You've got three islands and you can choose to be a resident, a hunter or a farmer. And there's a small task you can do on each island and then you can earn some pebbles. I really like the setting of this. You know, you can just chill, do a bit of role playing, sort of explore the map. You can also hang around on the boat. And it was pretty fun to hang out with just on the stream for this one. And talking of islands, we've got a pretty neat little fighting game here from Ollie. You've got several islands, you've got several spawn locations, ready to spawn in with your trusty club to whack some poor cavemen over the head with. What I really like about this is how you can swim between the different islands, which I thought was a pretty cool little feature to add in there. And it's a pretty solid little fighting game. Another one of my favourite fighting games was this one from Null Boyd. This is really fantastic. While at first glance it might like a really simplistic fighting game, it's got a really polished aesthetic to it. Both teams have got this sort of minimalist red and blue appearance and the whole world feels really nicely crafted. And when you give your opponent a good bonk on the head, there's even some ragdolls. So I thought this was an amazing, probably within the top few entries we received. And this is a really good job for Null Boyd. I would say they're probably narrowly missing out on the prize here. So congratulations to you. Some great work gone into this one. And of course, it wouldn't be a Gnome Jam without Kugi. They've returned 
as seems to be tradition at this point with a marble themed game and we're sort of a strange caveman inside a marble for some reason and there's a whole quest system going on with a few little elements there's even a little timed racetrack and there's some narrative going on too pretty cool and one final runner-up is from Alika0946 with this wave defense game. I really like how they've got this tribal totem very much on theme. And the, the dark lighting of the night with all the shadows looks really cool as we sort of get these evil enemies approaching out of the darkness. We've got some guys just with clubs and then you've got others who are actually armed with bow and arrows who can shoot from a range. So it keeps you pretty busy running around trying to take them all out. It's not an easy game to win, but it looks really nice. And I think they put a lot of work into this one. Great job for just within an hour. So it's almost time to announce the winner. But before we do, can we get some appreciation for this finely dressed caveman right here? Look at that beard. Ooh, wrapping round that beautiful cheeky grin of his. Look at those clothes. He's got his own custom clothes all wrapped in wool. What a finely dressed young caveman he is. He's on the Rock Smashers team. I'm sure he's going to be smashing some rocks tonight. Hmm, shall I leave that in? Yeah. So, the winner of the Gnome Jam October 2021 is... Rex with Mission Steak. So here we are, our winner. It very gently eases into the game with these uh, instructional signs that even tell us how to move and jump. Thanks for that. Though, it is a nice touch. I think what I like about this is how simple it is, and yet, at the same time, it really is this delightful little 2D adventure game. If you look carefully, you'll notice pretty much all the assets we see here are custom. They've got this texture on the wall, there's custom particles for the fire, and even the rocks appear to be either a union or a mesh. Now, maybe these are all free models, it could just be from an asset pack, but the point is really how they've been used together here in a way that all blends together, nothing stands out, it fits the Stone Age theme and sort of gives it this low poly style as well, very nice. So we've got a few obstacles to cross which don't really pose much of a problem, just a few jumping and so on, um, but we've also got these NPCs which tell us about what's coming up and they provide a little bit of character too. Like look at this poor guy here after we fall down. He's all trapped here. Although I don't know why, seeing as just a short hop up these rocks. And well, hey, we're back safe and free. And of course, we have got our trusty steak. And some damn big steaks at that. I don't think we're going to go hungry for a while. And the best thing is when we play this on game night, we had steak for all the family. Until we pushed it to the end. Whoa! So there we have it. Steak acquired and Gnome Jam acquired for Rexioc32 or just Rex for short. Congratulations, you are our Gnome Jam winner and I hope you enjoy your 2000 Robux prize which will be on your way. Thank you very much for taking part to everyone who was involved. It was so awesome to have a bit of fun with you on the live stream. And so I shall leave you all with that highlight reel of everyone's creations from the night. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.